All right, crew, this is Dr. Jacob here. And what I noticed is that a few of the prints said that the print failed because the initial layer was not sticking down to the bottom uh, on the ender. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the tool, uh, which is known as Baby Step Z. Now, what we're gonna have to wait for is I have to wait until it does actually engage with the with the print itself before I can send it and hit this knob to take it to Baby Step Z. But I wanna show you this, uh, this strategy because this will be critical for you to be successful on your print. One major thing to make sure that your prints don't end up like this is the fact that you have to make sure that that first layer is smushed down onto the bed. So you don't want a rounded first layer on that bed. You also don't want it like scored into the actual bed itself, which is what this looks like. You want to have a really nice, uh, nice layer that's nice and thin, but smushed down on the bottom of the bed. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how you can set that up. And a key thing is please make sure that you don't leave your print until you see that first layer getting done. Once you see the first layer getting done, then you know pretty much you could be very successful with it. But if you don't leave without seeing that layer, then you want to make sure that you do stay uh, so that you can see that first layer being done. So now you can see I'm almost to temperature here. It's going to engage in just a minute here once it hits 200. All right, so there it's engaging. What I'm going to do is I'm going to Click on this uh, button once and I'm going to go to tune and you have to do this right now as it's starting and then you're going to go down to baby step Z. I'm going to hit that baby step Z and what I'm going to do is I'm going to watch this print. If the print is not engaging on, uh, on that uh, bottom layer, I'm going to press down or move down and I'll try to move this for you so you can see it. See how it's way too high, it's not sticking to the bed? I'm gonna move that Baby Step Z down about three layers there. Ah, that's just right. So notice how now it's sticking right on that bed uh, and it has a nice smushed layer there. So that's showing us that that is going to be a successful calibration cue. And notice how what I did is it went down by 0.2. Now I can do the exact same thing and turn it up. Say it's too close to the bed and it's actually pressing and making a big mark on the bed. I can do the opposite and I can move it up by little steps. But what you're gonna see is you're gonna see that that nozzle head is going to go up and it's obviously not going to stick because I've been moving it up. And so there you can see that's happening. So if you go to the positive, so going to the right brings that nozzle up going to the left brings that nozzle back down. And if you remember, the initial layer was 0 0.2 for me. It was negative 0.2. And that takes it exactly where we want it. And obviously I made quite a mess here doing the demo but you can see how that layer is starting to correct itself. But the key thing is for you to be successful is you do wanna make sure you use this baby step Z. And that first layer is so critical to get right. So remember, if you turn this to the left, it's gonna go down. So the actual uh, nozzle is going to go down. If you turn this to the right, the nozzle is going to go up. And you just wanna do a few clicks at a time, nice and slow to get it just right. But once it sticks, then you know that you're gonna have, uh, potentially have a very successful print, just like the calibration QVC I'm doing right here. Okay, so that's Baby Step Z. Be sure to use that uh, as you're working. Um, that will make a world of difference in making sure that your, um, your prints are successful the first time.